part of it in media two. In part one, we started uh, the book actually, unit one. We talked about personal qualities and traits and uh, what qualities you need, personal qualities you need to be successful. And we talked about millionaires and also um, obligation must have to and should uh, we're going to continue with page four the reading keeping up with the joneses in this video okay before reading this part please try to uh, check and look up these words in dictionary match them with the meaning after ch trying yourself, let's now uh, check them one by one together. Number one is elaborate. Elaborate it means explain. Elaborate means explain. Giving some more information, explaining something in detail. Um, we can use it with on to elaborate something or to elaborate on something um, for example McDonald company um, refused to elaborate on uh, the reason for resi resigning or uh, the teacher elaborates uh, on the grammar part for example means gives more example or uh, he explains uh, the new project, but he did, didn't elaborate further information, means he didn't give further information. Next one is assert. Assert means state. Assert means to say something firmly. It is formal and is mostly used in the news or when someone says something uh, firmly. For example, he asserted that nuclear power is a safe and non-polluting uh, energy source. Means claimed, said firmly, state. Okay. Number three is pursue. Pursue means follow. Try a lot for a period of time, usually for a long time, to achieve something, to achieve your goals, interests, aspirations. For example, we can say that um, uh, he tried hard to pursue uh, his career, means follow his career, pursue happiness, I, I don't know, pursue your goals, your interests to achieve them. So pursue is B, follow. Num number four, discard. Discard means throw away. H, huh? Throw out, throw away. Get rid of something uh, you don't want and is worn out and you don't like it. Throw away uh, the old magazine. I, I, sorry, discard some, for example, old magazine uh, or, or the things that uh, you don't want anymore, unwanted things. Envelop. Number five is envelop. Envelop means very good cover. Um, you know, we have another word envelop with a envelope with E at the end. That is, you know, a pack actually uh, something that you put a letter in it. Envelop without E with a little bit different pronunciation means cover. For example, uh, mountains enveloped in uh, mist and fog number five acquire acquire uh, means obtain gain something to acquire knowledge for example gain knowledge um, this company acquired reputation for um, his high standard of uh, for example, education. 
exceed. Exceed means be greater than, be more than if. Okay. For example, we can say that working hours shouldn't exceed more than 42 hours a week means be more than that. Number eight, recruit. Recruit means um, employ. A. Uh, we we are facing some problems recruiting a uh, new staff. Recruit as a verb and recruit as a noun also means a new employee. Actually, somebody who has recently joined a company is somehow not very qualified, so it can be used as a noun and as a verb as a verb employ and as a noun means a person who has just um, joined a company somewhere to work. And number nine, deprive. Deprive means prevent, see. Deprive somebody of something. For example, uh, nowadays, uh, our poor society community is deprived of having a secure, stable, financially secure life. I'm deprived of, for example, I don't have any daughter. I love girls very much. I'm deprived of having a daughter. Okay. Good. Uh, now, let's read the... Uh, this nice passage together please before watching this part uh, listen to the audio try to uh, actually look up the words and summarize it for yourself first then we can uh, read it here together and paraphrase it we buy things we don't need with the money we don't have to impress the people we don't like the tragedy of modern life couldn't have been possibly been better elaborated than the way Dave Ramsey asserted. Postmodern man, enveloped by a myriad of unrealistic aspirations, helplessly pursuing happiness, claims everything, everything no matter the price. So, it's somehow clear we buy things we don't need with the money we don't have to impress impress means to uh, to affect actually to influence the people um, the people we don't like impress is grammatically a verb and uh, as you know uh, the noun is a uh, Impressive. Sorry, adjective. The adjective is impressive. When something in, is impressive, means it influences you, it impresses you a lot. Uh, last night I watched a movie, it was really impressive. It impressed me a lot. I cried, for example. And the noun is impression. Impression on somebody's face, for example. The impression, sad impression on her, her face showed great... Um, sadness depression okay i found out she was happy because of the impression on her face okay and um to impress people we don't like the tragedy of modern life couldn't have possibly been better elaborated elaborated uh, means explained uh, in details uh, the way that uh, Dave Ramsey asserted it means the state that means nobody could have possibly um, explained and elaborated the 
tragedy of this uh, modern life means buying things all the time because of impressing other people. Uh, this Dave Ramsey has stated it uh, very well. Postmodern man uh, enveloped by a myriad of unrealistic aspirations. Postmodern actually um, is a kind of uh, attitude, style of life, which is very typical actually nowadays in Western countries. And the way that uh, people all the time would like to buy new things and new uh, goods. Uh, in this society, these kinds of people who would who have this attitude and this lifestyle, um, they are covered by a, a myriad of time. Um, they are surrounded actually. Uh, that myriad of means a lot of a lot of uh, unrealistic, not real uh, aspirations, means desires, wishes, helplessly pursuing, following happiness. So in new typical uh, modern life that people would like to buy goods and new things, the, these people are surrounded by a lot of um, unrealistic wishes, desires, and they helplessly try to follow happiness. How? Claims everything no matter the price. They believe that if they uh, gain everything, uh, they will actually get happy and uh, they claim and they want to acquire these things uh, and the price doesn't matter. They don't care about the price. They just want things uh, and they don't care about the price. We live in a materialistic society and are trained from our earliest years to be acquisitive. Our possessions, mine and yours, are clearly labored from early childhood. When we grew old enough to earn a living, it doesn't it does not surprise us to discover that success is measured in terms of the money you earn. We spend the whole of our lives keeping up with our neighbors, the Joneses. So, materialistic society is a society that money, mammon, uh, is worshipped and um, is very important. We are trained, we are taught, actually we learn, we learn from our childhood to be acquisitive, to acquire, uh, try to acquire uh, everything. Our possessions. Possessions means the things that we have, the things that belong to us, we own. Mine, yours, are labeled, our name. For example, from childhood we learn, this is the meaning actually, from childhood we learn that, for example, this is my pen. For example, this is yours, this is mine. So from our childhood, we are trained to be acquisitive, to say this is mine, this is yours, and to acquire something, to gain things. When we grew old, uh, to earn a living means to work and um, get money. It is not surprising, actually, to discover that success is measured in terms of money you earn. Means uh, we say a person is successful if this person earns more money. So success is measured by how much money you earn. We spend the whole of our lives keeping up with the Jones, with the neighbors, the Joneses. So. Keep up with somebody means try to um, to be higher than them, not fall behind them. Okay, to keep up with somebody means try to be better than them in higher position, to be superior to them, and not fall behind them. Keep up with the name with our neighbors, the Joneses. So keep up with the Joneses, which is the title here. You can 
understand here. Keep up with the Joneses means try to be uh, better than your uh, neighbors. The Joneses is just a family name which is used for this um, idiom. Generally, keeping up with the Joneses means trying to be um, higher than the others uh, financially. Let's uh, read the rest. You will understand better. If we buy a new television set, Jones is bound to buy a bigger and better one. If we buy a new car, we can, we can be sure that Jones will get one better and get two car, new cars. One for his wife and one for himself. So, what is keeping up with the Joneses? It means that if we buy something, if our neighbor buys something, we try to buy a better one. If we buy something, they try to buy a better one. Okay, and um, here we have to be bound to. When you are bound to do something, uh, means uh, uh, actually when you this is expected. Uh, to be done or um, to be likely to do something Sh something that should be expected from when we buy something we expect that our uh, neighbor will buy or is likely to buy one the most amusing thing about this game is that the Joneses and all the neighbors who are struggling frantically to keep up with them are spending borrowed money kindly provided at a suitable rate of interest of course by friendly banks, insurance companies and etc. So when we actually we are keeping with the Joneses and the neighbors the most amusing thing here in very very interesting thing here is that this game is played actually uh, by spending the money that we don't own we don't possess we borrow this money from uh, insurance companies from bank and at the same time we have to uh, actually uh, pay off our loans give back this money with a suitable actually high interest 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 is the money extra money that you have to pay uh, when you take a loan from a bank uh, you uh, give this back you give the money back you or you pay off the loan um, with some extra money so the interesting part is that Jones's we struggling struggling means trying we are trying uh, crazily madly frantically means uh, crazily um, to keep up with, it, with each other with the spending the money that we don't own actually we borrow this money from the banks and we have to pay them off with uh, some extra interests so uh, just be careful here I think something uh, provided by friendly banks uh, actually just it's a kind of sarcastic way yes we just think that uh, they, uh, these insurance companies or banks uh, do us a favor and uh, lend us money uh, we are happy that yeah uh, they are very nice people they lend us money but actually they uh, take this money back with some that extra money which is called interest so it's a sarcastic way of using this uh, ironic or way of using friendly actually we have to pay the money back pay off the loan with some interest it is not only in affluent societies that people are obsessed with the idea of making more money. Consumer goods are desirable everywhere and modern industry deliberately sets out to create new markets. Gone are the days when industrial, industrial goods were made to last forever. The wheels of industry must 
be kept turning. Built in obsolescence provides the means goods are made to be discarded. Cars get teenier and teenier. You no sooner acquire this year's model than you are thinking about its replacement. So, this materialistic actually outlook, uh, it is not only in affluent society. Affluent means rich, well-off society. Uh, opposite is poor uh, or um, hard up, penniless. Uh, that people are obsessed with. To be obsessed with something. When you are obsessed with some with something means uh, you are thinking about that uh, all the time it's a very nice word please remember this one to be obsessed with something for example nowadays in this modern life uh, talking about women actually we can say that uh, women are uh, more obsessed with their appearance um, means all the time they're thinking about their appearance to, mo to look more beautiful, I don't know, uh, do some surgeries on their face, beauty surgeries and um, these kinds of things. So uh, about their, uh, I don't know, shape, to be uh, in shape and keep fit all the time. They're, they're doing as exercises, buying a new style, clothes and these kinds of so we can say that they are obsessed with their their uh, appearance so when you're obsessed with something you think a lot i'm obsessed with for example making money i'm obsessed with my weight means i'm all the time uh, thinking about it obsession is uh, a noun form of obsess obsessed Obsessed is an adjective. So people are obsessed with the idea of making money. Everybody, all people just are all the time thinking uh, about making more money. No matter what they do, they just want money. Consumer goods. Consumer goods are goods that um, actually are bought for our daily um, use, not for uh business these normal goods that we buy to use at home and everywhere are desirable means are wanted everywhere and modern industry deliberately deliberately means on purpose uh, intentionally sets out sets out means start start doing something they start to create new markets so they uh, factories and industry deliberately are creating uh, new models new styles of everything in order to uh, sell them gone are the days when industrial industrial goods were made to last forever means the days that uh, once in the past uh, industrial goods were made to long for long to last for long time are finished that's a very nice uh, actually phrase to remember gone are the days gone are the days when uh, we used to get together uh, families friends go to shopping in coffee shops hang out with friends in coffee shops public places, concerts, guns are the day because of uh, this problem, COVID-19, we are locked up and gone are those days. The wheels of an industry must be kept turning. Building obsolescence provides the means that goods are made to be discarded. So, those days are gone, deliberately the, this industry sets out to create new markets. Why? Because the wheels of industry must 
be kept turning. These factories should work all the time. If goods long for last time, then these uh, factories will not be able to create new markets. So this building of obsolescence provides uh, the means. Building of obsolescence actually uh, means um, Obsolescence means the, this uh, being uh, old and uh, worn out. Building obsolescence means deliberately planned. By plan, actually, they make the goods uh, to get old and discarded very soon. They don't want uh, the goods to last for a long time. And this is done deliberately discarded means through away or throughout cars get tinier and tinier tin you know is a uh, actually a kind of material uh, which can get uh, which is very thin and uh, weak and cannot uh, last for a long time so the cars in the past uh, actually uh, were made in a very strong way, but nowadays they become uh, teenier and teenier. You know, you no sooner acquire this year's model than you are thinking about its replacement. Yeah, because all the time the uh, the um, factories actually. Um, produce new uh, models for example this year you buy a new model of cell phone no sooner mean um, exactly after you uh, as soon as you buy this model uh, you start using it but you, you start thinking about uh, the new model next year okay Samsung next year will release another model, how it will be. You are thinking about replacing this one with the new one. Yeah, think about its replacement. Now let's see what other uh, impacts actually we can see here. This materialistic outlook has seriously influenced education. So this outlook this attitude also has uh, in affected influenced education how let's see fewer and fewer young people these days acquire knowledge only for its own sake every course of studies must lead somewhere for example to a bigger wage pocket packet the demand for skilled Personnel far exceeds the supply, and big companies compete with each other to recruit students before they have completed their studies. So, how it has actually impacted or influenced the uh, education? Fewer and fewer young people these days acquire knowledge for its own sake. It means that. Actually, uh, nowadays students don't study, don't get educated because of the knowledge itself, because they would like to gain knowledge. No, this is not the reason for most and majority of the students. They try to study something, they try to acquire knowledge in order to be able to earn money. They choose for example, subjects to study that they think that they can earn more money with this one. For example, nowadays, a majority of our young people would like would like to be a doctor, for example. Why? They don't like being a doctor just because of, for example, this knowledge itself that, for example, being doctor can help people. They want to be doctor mostly because they believe that doctors earn more money this is the meaning of they don't acquire knowledge for its own sake 
not because of the knowledge itself, because of the money that they can earn from this knowledge they study. Every course of studies must lead somewhere, for example, to a bigger way, the one that I actually explained. This knowledge should actually provide you with bigger salary and money. The demand for skilled per, uh, personnel far exceeds uh, the supply. Uh, the demand means uh, the desire to want something is more than the, uh, more than uh, the amount the actually the number of the people the skilled people that have it actually it wants to say that the number of the skilled people that are wanted by companies are more than uh, the real number of these skilled people these skilled people and um, and big companies compete with each other to uh, recruit means to employ students before they have even completed their studies that's why the demand is more than the real number of these is these skilled people because companies compete with each other to recruit them now how they compete with each other let's see how tempting salaries and fringe benefits are offered to them so how they compete by giving tempting offering tempting salaries and fringe but tempting you know when something is tempting means um, tempts you to uh, buy or to eat it for example chocolate is tempting means um, it attracts you or smell of for example for me myself if I talk about my uh, myself for me for example mm, shoes are tempting when I see shoes I'm uh, I just want to buy them uh, so tempting salaries means very big salaries that uh, actually tempts you to go and work for that company fringe benefits are the extra actually bonuses or advantages benefits that the company offers you this is not usually including money other kind of uh, other kinds of um, facilities for example like uh, providing you with a um, house and uh, cars and some other bonuses or advantages uh, they offer so with these uh, French benefits and tempting salary they try to uh, recruit those skill those skilled people recruiting tactics of this kind have led to the brain drain so this way tactics in this way of recruiting uh, people results in brain drain now what is brain drain the process by which highly skilled people offer their services to the highest bidder so brain drain means it's a process by which uh, these highly skilled people educated intelligent our intelligent people uh, offer their services to higher bidder bidder mean people who offer something offer a price when you offer a price for something you are a bidder okay for example sometimes when they want to sell something um, they uh, actually um, this is a kind of actually uh, telling um, sorry selling something uh, which is called bid or auctions people get together they have something to sell and one by one they have a for example basic price for this then other people start uh, to bid to 
offer a price and they uh, give this and sell this uh, good to somebody who offers a higher price or to the can I say to the higher highest the highest bidder so brain drain means the skilled people uh, give their services they go to other countries and they give their services to the ones uh, with higher uh, salary and uh, better fringe benefits something that nowadays is happening a lot the wealthier nations deprive their their poorer neighbors of their most able citizens deprive somebody of something they prevent actually uh, the poorer nations from prevent from deprive of prevent the poorer nations from their uh, most able citizens while mammon is worshipped as never before the rich get richer and the poor poorer money nowadays is worshipped money comes first is everybody's priorities nowadays we are everybody is obsessed with making money it is worshipped and this way the richer the rich get richer and the poorer get the poor gets poor get poorer the, the rich the poor you know that uh, rich and poor both are adjectives uh, sometimes we with adding the at the beginning of some of the adjectives and we make them um, actually a general plural noun the poor the rich actually means all the rich people all the poor people okay this is done and let's continue with the uh, questions here actually number one my uncle's bakery sells many different flavored pastries there is always a myriad to choose from means a lot a lot of choices number two my husband and I actually we are uh, sorry supposed to choose them uh, choose them from these um, this box these words Number two, my husband and I share the aspiration of having a marriage that lasts a lifetime. Aspiration means the desire, wish. Number three, while I'm somewhat acquisitive and can afford to do anything I want, I try to only purchase things I need. Acquisitive means I would like to acquire and have something for my own. Number four, when you can't afford something, to buy something means you have enough money to do that, to buy that. Number four, when my daughter went missing in the supermarket, I frantically, frantically searched the entire store, means with a lot of worries and madly. Number five, as people become more affluent, so their standard and life style of living improves. Affluent, rich, well off, wealthy, wealthy. Number six, there were no signs that the fire had been set deliberately. Deliberately means on purpose. Number seven, building obsolescence is when a product is deliberately made to be old fashioned or impossible to use after a short period of time so that people have to replace it. So this is exactly the meaning of building obsolescence. Number eight, it was very tempting, only $50 for a ticket to the flight. 
but I decided to save the money. So it was tempting. The price was low. Actually, uh, it was tempting to buy it because the price was low, but I prefer to save my money. Number nine, I think all women are obsessed with something and it is due to the media. Okay, now you can also uh, discuss these questions. Number one, according to the passage, what does postmodern man pursue? According to the passage, postmodern man pursues happiness. Actually pursues happiness, claims everything, no matter the price. Number two, how do the Joneses try to keep up with us? They try to keep up with us. If we buy, actually it is here. If we buy, uh, if we buy a new television set, John is bound to, is more likely to buy a bigger and better one. How has the production of consumer goods changed? Consumer goods are desirable everywhere and modern industry deliberately sets out to create new markets. And this building of obsolescence is deliberately um, yeah, here. Goods are made to be discarded. This building of obsolescence has been deliberately uh, applied in uh, consumer goods and the goods are made to be discarded very soon and not last forever for a long time for a long time now number four how has education been influenced by our materialistic outlook here fewer and fewer young people these days acquire knowledge only for its own sake Every course of studies must lead somewhere, for example, to a bigger wage packet. So, the knowledge also has been, gaining knowledge has been uh, affected. What does the writer mean by brain drain? Yeah, brain drain is here the process by which Highly skilled people offer their services to the higher bidders. Okay, page 40, vocabulary bank. Let's check also this part very uh, quickly. Okay, this part is done. Now, this is a cross, uh, actually puzzle, cross, uh, word puzzle. Uh, you can put them in their correct places. Just let me one by one check together. Let's one by one check together. Number one, having or showing excessive or compulsive concern about something when your mind is busy all the time with something you think about something very much, your mind is obsessed so the word is obsessed prevent someone from having something deprived intended or planned intended or planned when something is intended and planned is done deliberately deliberately number eight concerned only with money and possessions materialistic a lot plenty Myriad, a strong desire to uh, have or achieve something, aspiration, extremely worried and frightened about a situation. When you are extremely worried, yes, the boy, the mother of the boy was frantically searching for him. Frantic. Next part down, number two. Give details or new information about something. 
elaborate. When something becomes old-fashioned and no longer used because something newer and better has been invented. Obsolescence. Wanting to have and keep a lot of possessions. Acquisitive. When you are acquisitive, you want to have and keep a lot of possessions. Throw away. Discarded. Discard. Uh, state firmly that something is true. Assert. And try extremely hard to achieve something. Struggle, rich, well off, well off, affluent. Okay, thank you very much. This is the end of part two, intermediate.